Hey y'all, hey, Mandy here, and today we are filming my May Empties video. Not a ton of stuff, but plenty we can talk about. The first thing is not an empty, I just don't care for them. They are the Moonlit Skin Care PM Pimple Patch Pack. Um, I think they work just as fine as any other pimple patch. I just don't like the way they peel off and they uh, can be a little sticky on both sides so it's hard to get it to even stay because it starts to stick to your finger and they like bunch up on the ends. I don't care for the actual product form of this so I'm gonna go ahead and give this away to a friend because I really like a couple other brands instead and I'd rather use those. I used a bubble bar. I don't even know what it was called but I used it so there's that. I finished two deodorants. I finished the Lumi Solid Stick Deodorant in Warm Vanilla and the Mega Babe Daily Deodorant in Rosy Pits. And I will say, uh, for as much as Lumi is hyped up all over the internet, that lady talking about it changes your life, whatever, in all those YouTube ads, it was just okay. I'd put both of these in the just okay category. Now, granted, just okay is usually as good as it gets for me, so... I'd use it again because uh, I just don't have a miracle product just yet. Um, but yeah, the warm vanilla was a nice scent. And then for the Mega Babe one, kind of agree. Also just okay. As good as it gets for me, really. I'd reuse either of these, but I'm on to a couple different ones right now. Still trying. Still trying to find the Holy Grail deodorant. Let's talk fragrance. I finished this Pinrose Secret Genius Petal, which is their little scented wipes. You can try the scents. I already have the full size petal. I know I like the scent, so I just kind of have been using the ones I know I like first, so I don't have to pay that much attention or think too hard. But it's just really yummy. It's caramel, Madagascan, vanilla, and sandalwood. You get a lot of the caramel and vanilla. It's just a good, really beautiful scent. Really yummy scent. Then I finished up this vial from Pacifica in the Blue Moon scent. This is very similar, not exactly the same, but very similar to the um, vanilla, Co Indian coconut, but no, vanilla nectar, whatever, the, their traditional long-standing vanilla scent. This one's very similar, so I don't feel the need to have both, but if you have don't have one, at least, I think, Give them both a scent and go with, with whichever one you like best because they're both nice scents. And I also used another vial of Pacifica perfume. This is the Flower Moon. This is one I would consider buying. It's just really light and there's also a citrusy kind of vibe to it. I, I liked this one. I can tell it has a little bit of lilac, or at least I'm picking up some lilac, which doesn't usually sit too well on me, but in this, I actually like it because it's not quite as bold. Yeah, I like this. I'd consider getting this one, and that was Flower Moon. Two face sunscreens to talk about. I used up this sample of Suntegrity Moisturizing Mineral Face Sunscreen and Primer. This had broad spectrum SPF. It's just a little thicker and a little more white cast imposing than something I would normally go for, but it was perfectly fine to take to the beach with me for the weekend. So, used to that. But my favorite, all time favorite face sunscreen is from Paula's Choice. It's the Resist Normal to Dry Skin Skin Restoring Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 50 with antioxidants. I know a lot of people really love this in the, um, normal to greasy formulation but i love the normal to dry i love the moisture it provides it gives you a glow on top of skin protection so this is my favorite i'm already on to a new one this is something i keep stocked in the house at all times always have a backup it is my favorite sunscreen and i love it highly recommend i got a work call i think i left off on this little fragrance so this is the Pacifica Neon Moon fragrance that I found under other stuff hiding. And this one is nice, but it just does not scream Amanda at all. So this one I'm just going to get rid of and I don't think I'd repurchase it. Something in it just feels really sharp or astringent to my nose for some reason. 
Like maybe it's too much lime or something. I don't know. But something in this just doesn't sit well with me. It's not in and of itself a bad smell. It's just not something I'm attracted to. Next, a face mask. So this is the Perfect Liquid Face Mask Pink Clay Acai Berry and Red Clover. And this was a perfectly fine like clay mud mask. And I don't know if it did anything in particular wonderful to my skin, but it was a nice little therapeutic evening with this. So that was nice. You guys already know I love the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid. This is the little packet I used on our last weekend trip down to the ocean to visit Austin's mom and grandma. So I love these little packets. Love. And I actually found a really little bottle at Sephora. So once I'm done with my packets, I'll travel with the little bottle instead. But these packets are great. Two more skincare items. This one is the... Uh, Youth to the People Triple Peptide and Cactus Oasis Serum. Now, I do have another one of these that I think I threw into my travel stuff, and I'm going to leave it there, but I don't think it's that great a product. I don't, it's not bad. It's not bad by any means. It's just nothing special. It's just hydrating ingredients. So if you happen to have some thirsty skin or some dry skin, it's probably good to have, but it's not something I think I'd pick out over other things. But as far as free samples go, it's great great free sample enjoy getting it for that purpose uh, just not something i'd buy and then i finished up my eye cream this is the good molecules yerba mate wake up eye cream i don't even know if they make this anymore i feel like i saw someone post about them not making this anymore which is sad because this is a great great eye cream and this tube lasts forever i think i've been working on this for like a year you need the tiniest amount and it's so hydrating really effective uh, if this is still available, I might repurchase it. If not, um, I guess I'm searching for something new. But I did like this a lot. So that is everything I have to share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I will link to the products that I'd recommend checking out down below. If you enjoyed the video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. If you'd like to stick around for a while, you can hit the subscribe button. And otherwise, I'll talk to you all later. Bye!